The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Ball on the 30 as they come up, second and 10. To throw is Jackson. Throwing again. Eluding the pressure right. He'll try and run it. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. First and ten, it's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. 153 remaining in this first half of play. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Pass from Jackson, complete to Ingram. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Jackson looking to throw on third. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson rolling to his left. He's going to take off with it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. First down. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Dancing to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Oh, 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Throwing again, Winston on second and ten. And he rifles one incomplete. He was looking for Brashad Perriman, and it'll bring up third down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. Jameis to throw it. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49 yard line. They'll throw again, Winston. Airing this one out for Evans. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail, second down. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Cut, cut, hey, stop, stop, stop. Easy, easy, easy. Three, triple T. To the air again with Winston. Complete to Jones. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 35. Jameis now five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Again, it's Winston. He finds his target. It's Evans. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Jameis again. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. Pernell McPhee able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Watch the Mike, 48. Mike, 48. I got one. I got one. Hey, look for me. Mike, the 48. Right now. Let's go. Let's go. Third and long for Winston. And that will be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. This offense two for two converting on these thus far, so why not try again here on fourth down? They'll go for it. Wait, 
Winston to throw for it on four. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. First possession in the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. After the interception, here's Jackson. Steps away. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. Sneed's got it. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain there of 30 big ones. Jackson. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Check 50. Check 50. Play action. It's Jackson. He lets this one fly toward the back. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Justin Evans. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Winston and the Bucks take over now, first and 10 at the 20. Following the interception, Winston. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. They have not gotten him going at all. Trying to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. On second down, Winston again. And this is caught by Evans. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. A second down throw for Winston. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now.
54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check. Oh, oh. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you're looking at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. This is Jones. Matt Judon there to bring him down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw, Winston. He completes it to Evans. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Bucks on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. Now Winston. He's going to fire one deep over them. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. From the red zone now, Winston. Caught by Jones. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard. Jones. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down.
They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Now Jones. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the six yard line. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Throwing, Winston. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as they are now just an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final two minutes. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. The ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Check, 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 check. Easy, easy, easy. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. They'll go again to Jones. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Raven's going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. First and goal at the one-yard line. Let's go. Let's convert. Let's convert. Let's convert. Kill. 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 Watch the edge. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. There we go. Ronald Jones. Taking it in. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. 
That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time... Give and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, they needed the touchdown and the two-point conversion, but they're not going to get a shot at either. This is a great play here defensively, Brandon, and at a time that they sorely needed one. And that could be enough to help get them out of here with a victory. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. It's a gain of 34. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. 